Welcome back to my series on the 722.9 transmission. Today I have this 2014 GLK in the shop and I'm getting ready to do a transmission service. And I know some of you are looking at this and thinking, well, Kent, that looks like you're going to do more than just a filter and fill, <laughs> which is often done on these transmissions. You know, just drain the old fluid out, you know, four and a half, five liters, put the new filter in, put the pan back on and fill it up. <laughs> because you've been warned, do not flush your transmission or it will explode. <laughs> so I'm not going to use the word flush anymore because I don't do flushes. You know, flushes mean you're using some sort of pressurized equipment to force fluid through to get all the junk out. Well, <laughs> you hear the stories all over the internet. Oh no, don't flush your transmission. It'll fail, you know, within a hundred miles. And I'm sure that's happened because you flush with pressure and some of those particulates and sludge in the transmission get shoved down into the valve body and, and get in the, under the contacts on the solenoids and pretty soon the transmission doesn't work. So I've chosen to call my procedure a power drain, a full system power drain. And in order to do this, you're gonna need 10 to 12 liters. I usually tell people, look, you could probably get by with 10 liters if your transmission is really clean, but you might wanna have 12 because you'll end up maybe running another one through because the transmission's not running clean or you may misjudge the fill and drain too much out. <laughs> so it's better if you're going to do the power drain, you know, to have 12 liters on hand. If you're only going to do the drain and fill, you know, most people get six or seven liters. So it's gonna be your call. Now, why do I feel that my power drain is not a problem? Let me explain. When I do this, I run the engine. And the engine is what is moving the fluid through the transmission, through the torque converter, through the trans cooler, and then out into a catch can. So all the old fluid is running out of those components and I'm not flushing it. The engine's doing it, as if you were normally driving it. So if you are opposed to a power drain, you should be opposed to just driving your car with a 722.9. <laughs> so what you see here is my kit that I've put together to do this. It has a number of different hoses and attachments that you'll need. And you can use this pressure tank that I sell to just check the fluid level and add a little fluid. You can use it to do a drain and fill, or you can use it as I'm going to do later to do a full system power drain <laughs> with the engine running. I'm not running it back through the filter. No one guy said, well, Kent, how come you're running that dirty fluid back through the filter? And... <laughs> I'm not, okay? Another guy said, well, my mechanic told me you do not want to flush. Well, that may be the case, but remember, there's all kinds of variables. Don't just say never flush. <laughs> I could make a comment, but I won't. Okay, you probably want to avoid a flush, particularly with a high mileage transmission that probably hasn't had the fluid change in 100,000 miles. But when you perform a power drain like I do, Nothing is different than if you're just driving down the road. The only thing is you're running the engine up in the air and you're just running, you're just running the old fluid out. You're not pressurizing it and flushing out. So now you'll understand why you won't be hearing me anymore say I'm gonna flush the transmission. Let me show you, I've got everything here on the bench. Let me show you in a little bit more detail what would be required if you wanna do this to your own 722.9. I've already commented on the fluid. You're gonna to have to make the decision on what you wanna do, whether you do a full power drain or just a drain and fill. That's your call, but what is really important is the type of fluid. Remember, from 2003 to mid-2010, in the first generation of the 722.9, it was red fluid. That is ATF-134, and then from mid-2010 up to 2016, it was green fluid, it was 134FE. So you need to make sure, you, if you're not sure, you, you can call the dealer and give them your VIN number, but make sure these fluids are not interchangeable. All right, you understand that? So it's your call on how much fluid you buy. This pressure tank will work for either option. All right, it'll, it'll do partial fill, it'll do, you know, 
leveling of the fluid and it will do the full power drain. I will not be going over how all that's done. It's, you know, it took quite a while, almost 30 minutes to shoot the video on how to do this. The video will be included with the purchase of the tank and the hoses. You can also purchase the video separately on my website if you just want to see how this power drain is done. But I wanna show you some details about this tank. The first thing is the fitting. This is the fitting that screws up into the bottom of the transmission pan. You just take the fill plug out or you have the fill plug removed and you screw this in. Now there's a couple things that are unique about my fill tank that you don't see on others. The first thing is, look at this, you get a filter. You get a clear filter. So you're filtering the fluid just before it enters the pan. The other thing is I have two valves. I have a shutoff valve here and I have a shutoff valve below the filter. Now you might say, well, why do you need two shutoff valves? Well, just talk to people that have done this and everyone says it's really messy. And the reason is because when you start disconnecting things, you know, fluid will leak out. It will siphon out. So my procedure here is, you know, the valve is shut off. You put it up in to the bottom of the pan. Then you can push in and tighten the filter and go ahead and do the fill. But when you go to remove it, you can close this off right here with this valve so that when you pull this off and you leave this on the transmission, this isn't gonna, you're not gonna set this down. It's gonna start siphoning all over the floor. I also provide in my kit just a little silicone cap that you can put on the end of this after you pull it off. And when you set this down, you can even set it on the floor. It's not gonna drip out of the, the, the filter. I provide an extra O-ring because sometimes, you know, after a few applications, you'll need to replace the O-ring seal there. This is only finger tight into the transmission pan. So you don't need a wrench on this. I also provide a couple of plugs. These are silicone plugs that will help you minimize spillage when you hook up this hose right here. So this is the hose that's hooked up to the transmission cooler line so that the fluid, old fluid is flowing out of the transmission cooler line, you're catching it. And when you get done with this, you know, what do you do with this to keep from dripping all over the place? Well, that's what the purpose of these plugs are for. You can plug this end with that plug and you can plug the bigger end, which is the one pulled off the transmission cooler line. Then you set this aside and it's not dripping all over the place. So you can see this is a pretty thorough kit that I put together. I also have an attachment that I will include that you can put on here to fill your rear end. You'll have to clean the tank out so you don't cross contaminate the fluid, but you can use this to also fill a rear end. Now you're gonna need a filter, you're gonna need a gasket, you're going to need a, probably a new fill pipe and new bolts, always replace the bolts. These are aluminum stretch bolts. That's not included in my kit, but can be purchased separately and always use that triple media Mercedes genuine filter when you are changing the filter in the 722.9 plus transmission. Now the early ones you can upgrade, but you're gonna need a pan. So I'm not putting a new pan on this particular GLK because I've got the new pan already installed. No matter what procedure you plan to do, if you're doing this yourself, this is something you're going to have to have. You're going to need an infrared thermometer that will remotely measure temperature because when we're all done with the fill, the procedure to set the correct level in a 722.9 transmission is to run the engine until the temperature reaches 45 degrees centigrade and that's when you set the fill level. So if you don't have this, you're not gonna be able to get the correct level when you're all done filling the transmission with new fluid. But I will carry this on my website. I'll put a link along with the tank just in case you don't have one because this is something you absolutely need. I designed this 
particular kit along with the video instructions that I include with it for the DIYer. This is really something you can do yourself. I don't think there's a lot of shops that are going to do a full system power drain. They're going to put a flush machine up to the car or they're going to tell you don't do it. Let's just do a drain and fill. I'm going to show you a valve body now that I took out of a Mercedes with 78,000 miles on it. There's a couple key things you can clean and one of them is this shift rod. When you pull it out like this, let's get it out of there. Look, right there, there's a magnet. <laughs> now watch how much junk comes off of there. It's still coming. And it was filthy. It took me three hours to clean the valve body and the conductor plate. As you see here, it was, you know, lint-free cloths, little lint-free swabs, just very meticulously trying to clean all that sediment, particularly under the contact points when I removed the solenoids. You know, that was really filthy in there. So I think that a full system power drain is the way to go. I'm going to encourage you to, to try it yourself, you know. So what I'll do is I'll put a link for this kit in the description below this video. I'm not including the upgraded pan and filter with this kit because this is the newer version. This is the plus version. Already has the upgraded pan on it. That means we're over full. Well, maybe I didn't need that extra half liter in there but at least I won't have to do it again.